what's happening guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl abs iggy back with another video all right so today i'm gonna be talking about my biggest turn-ons and turn-offs um i can only think of eight things so i'm gonna be telling you eight of my turn-ons you know when it comes to girls and my biggest turn-offs man so let's get straight into it so number one okay the first thing i love about a woman when i look at her is a peachy bottom oh my days listen it, it's got to be peachy it, listen it's not necessarily got to be massive and it's not got to be huge but it's got to look peachy whether it's small peachy or big peachy but it's just a peachy booty it, it's nice man because you can do a lot with it do you know what i mean like you can do a lot you can you can grab it you know you, you can eat it you can slap it um <laughs> there's a lot you can do with a peachy bum so that is my first priority man that, that that is it my number one biggest turn off are girls that don't have a peachy bum listen your ass can't look like an extension of your back yeah your ass can't look like it's in recession your ass can't be in overdraft it can't pass the red line can't be in deficit it's not running i can't do it I can't. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Like, ah, no, no. If you need, uh, no, can't do it. Sorry. Right. My second biggest turn on are girls that have a nice smile. Listen. And what comes with that is obviously good teeth. Yeah. So listen, there's just something about a girl's smile because I think that's one of the first things you see when you see someone's faces, you know, their smile, what their teeth look like. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's, it's appealing, you know, you just look at them, great smile, you just want to kiss them, do you know what I mean, you just want to smooch all over the gaff, so, my second biggest turn off, morning breath, listen, if we wake up in the morning, and you haven't brushed your teeth, and I haven't brushed my teeth, do you know what that means, we ain't having a kiss, yeah, no kisses in the morning, honestly, if Colgate ain't hit your mouth yet, please, I can't do it, and I hate it because obviously, you know, when you've had a good night with someone and you wake up and cuddles and all that, they try and kiss you, it's awkward. Just throw up a pillow. No. No, I can't do it, man. Just, it's too much because you've gone a substantial amount of time without brushing your mouth and I don't want it on my lips. Do you know what I mean? Like, I take care of them. So, you can't be putting bacteria on my lips, putting bacteria in my mouth. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Brush your teeth first. You have all the smooches that you want. My third biggest turn on are girls that can dance. Listen, I'm a, I dance. People know me. Come out with me in a night out. I'm on a dance floor in the middle. Yeah, listen, I'm not going to say you got to be doing all this choreography and all this stuff. Yeah, no, no, none of that. Just a bit of rhythm. Do you know why? Because people that have a bit of rhythm means they're good in another department. And you know what I'm talking about. So, I mean, if you're stiff and you come like a lamppost, I can't do much with you because, you know, I, I, when it gets down to bits and bobs, I want to be able to put one leg there, one leg there. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I, I need a bit of rhythm. Work with me. Do you know what I mean? And, I, and, I, and I'm quite a central person. So, you know, like, I like to listen to music. I like to grind, bump and grind, you know. On a night out as well, I want to dance. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, girls that can dance, you know, whatever genre of music it is. Actually, let me not lie not any genre, no heavy metal like no mush pits or nothing like that but if you could dance that's 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 important man that's my third biggest turn off smokers man oh, i can't do it listen i've dated smokers before um when i say smokers i mean cigarettes it's not for me because that accompanies bad breath morning breath even more like times 100 fold um you know i i don't want it every time i'm talking to you trying to kiss you and i'm just tasting cigarettes like first thing in the morning i just can't do it if you if you bun zoots and that i don't mind if it's once in a while but i can't be dealing with them wake and bake kind of people i mean i've dated girls that have heavily been on the zoots and that and mood swings are crazy you know like when you rely on it and you're dependent on it you can't sit by it it's just not for me ain't for me my fourth biggest turn on is girls that can rock their natural hair Listen, I love hair. If you go on my Instagram, yeah, you'll see I love my hair. I have my hair in twists. I have my hair out. I came row it. I do all sorts. Listen, there's nothing wrong with lace wigs, frontals, all of that. Extensions, braids, da-da-da-da. 
I don't care, whatever. But, but I love girls that can rock it natural. Do you know why? Because it means you, you take care of your crown that's on your head. Yeah. It means you're a patient person because you give time and dedication and love to your crown. Yeah. And it means you're just confident as well. Like a lot of girls don't know how to rock the natural hair. They don't want to for whatever reason. But if you were honestly, it's peng. It's beautiful. Honestly, just one, two time, you know, just listen, just deep condition that. Put some, you know, cream of nature in there and good to go, man. And it's nice, you know, like when you're sleeping and you can just smell a girl's natural hair, all the products, whether it's cream of nature or Cantu. I don't like Cantu, actually, sorry. But, you know, like, you know, a bit of coconut oil, whatever it is you may use. I love smelling it. I love gripping it. I love feeling whether it's dry or moist in my hands. Yes, because I love hair and I love girls that can rock their natural hair. My fourth biggest kind of a girls that have anger issues listen if you see some of my previous story times i've been slapped up one too many times and i've not even told you half of it like I, i've been slapped up loads listen i'm not saying i'm innocent in any, any of these but you don't you should never put your hands on anyone if we're arguing it's not a screaming match because i don't scream so if you're just screaming at me to me it's a sign of disrespect it means you're someone that's not in control of their emotions and it, it just don't run with me, you know. I feel like there's people in life that can bring out the best in you and the worst in you. And people that have anger issues definitely bring out the worst in me because then you're going to make me rise to your level. And I can't be dealing with that. Fifth biggest turn on are girls that know how to look after their nails and their toes. Listen, there's nothing better, nothing better than a nail and toe combination colour. Listen, go and get yourself a manicure, a pedicure. You don't even have to do that, actually. Yeah. You don't even have to do it, you can do it yourself. Just clean up your cuticles, you know, just shape them up a little bit. Choose a colour. White is paying. Nude, whatever. Just make it match. I love it. I'm not saying all the time because it's long. But honestly, when I see a girl that looks after her, her nails and her toenails and they're matching the colour coordinating. Yes! I want more of it. It's it's beautiful, but it's a beautiful thing. Or when they coordinate it with their outfits and their dresses. Oh! It's good, man. My fifth biggest turn off are girls that have no ambition. Listen, I'm not saying you've got to aspire to be a millionaire or have big houses and be an entrepreneur. No, you've got to find your craft in life, find your sense of self worth, direction, kind of know what you want to do a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, be ambitious with it. Listen, I respect that not everyone knows what they want to do straight away, but. You know at least while you're kind of trying to find who you are work in the meantime do something plan things here and there when you have no ambition no drive you're just going to be dragging me back i can't be doing that i'm only moving up i i don't like it if you can't if you can't motivate yourself and you, and you can't inspire yourself then nothing to do with me sorry my sixth biggest turn on in a girl is girls that are spontaneous listen if you know about me I'm wild, I'm adventurous, I'm a spontaneous, I literally, I literally don't plan anything, yeah, I hate planning, I don't believe in planning, because tomorrow ain't guaranteed for no one, plans might change, I don't think that much, do you know what I mean, so I'll go with the flow, that's how I live my life, you know, if I want to do something on a weekend, I'll go to this country, that country, I'm going to do it, that's just how I live, so, you know, girls that are, are spontaneous, just like me, you know, obviously, look, you have to plan for some things in life, like if you're getting married, you have to plan it, you know, something like that, but... I ain't talking about that. I'm just talking about just wanting to be fun and adventurous and just go on wild adventures because that is me. And that kind of energy I love. I love, 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 love. My six biggest turn off are girls. You know, when you're dating them or seeing them or in a relationship with them or married to them and they never offer to pay anything. Why are you so entitled? Look, I might have taken on the first date and paid and the second date and paid. By the third date, you need to offer. Because that is a red flag. You are not entitled. No one's entitled, yeah? And listen, I don't care if it's two girls either, or girl or a boy, or whatever, or he and she, whoever you're together, I just don't like girls or people in general that never offer to pay anything, yeah? Stop being stingy, yeah? Because people around you want to offer to pay things. That don't mean you take the piss. You get it? You get it? I'm talking to you. You know I'm talking to you. If you're stingy, sort it out sort it out my seventh biggest turn on and this is probably more like when i'm in a relationship with someone is girl that 
understands my love language listen everyone's got love language love languages if you don't know what i'm talking about google it or there's a sick book on love languages that explains about different five love languages and these are personal to every individual now you know when you're getting to know someone it's very important because it helps people to understand who you are but also helps you to understand who that person is you know it only helps you deal with things better such as arguing you know if you're living together if you have kids and how you handle things it's just so so many reasons why understanding someone's love language is actually you know significantly important so if you're in a relationship um, or you're getting to know someone you know it's something uh, I'll definitely say to explore my seventh biggest turn off are girls that only have male friends or stud friends it don't run over here honey no no listen that's a red flag you know i'm not gonna lie and i'm gonna tell you why so you know you meet some girls that are like oh other girls don't like me i don't seem to get with other girls and so all my friends are guys or all them studs nah no, sweetheart you're the problem you are the problem i bet you are the problem listen anyone that tells you that any female that tells you oh i don't get on with girls they are the problem it's a red flag yeah there's no reason why you should not be able to get on with your own gender you get it yeah mm, I, I don't like it i don't like it why are all your friends guys no why are all your friends just studs there's something wrong with you i don't care don't at me either there's something wrong with you is what it is man and listen my final eight biggest turn on i wish i could have done 10 but i couldn't think anymore girls that can dress listen Ooh, listen now i'm not talking about design and this and that because you know some people don't even know how to wear brands and brands wear them it's not even about that you can go primer any cheap shop anywhere you want to go and you can look peng you can look like a million dollars if you know your body you study your body you know what kind of clothes fit well you know how how dresses may caress your body how jeans may caress your body how that nail and toe combination suits your handbag or your shoes listen it's a big turn on man honestly ah uh, because I, I like to dress up as well you know um and i believe it's important that you take care of your physical appearance in every aspect anyway so girls that can dress it is a must you are winning you are winners and my last biggest turn off is girls that moan all the time ah uh, yada 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 i don't want to hear it listen sometimes in life no in life there are always people misfortunate than you, yeah, that are worse off than you. Stop moaning about everything. And I'm talking to you, you know who you are. You just moan so much. Why are you moaning? If you don't like your circumstance in life, if you don't like something, change it. You don't need to tell the whole world about it before you do it. Just do it. Stop moaning. Get up off your lazy bum and do what you want to do to make a difference in your life and in yourself. Just stop moaning. Even in your relationship. If you feel like your partner ain't doing this and that, you don't need to moan at them. You know, if you're not feels that unhappy, leave. Go. But stop moaning. Stop telling your best mate don't want to hear it anymore. Your mum and your dad are sick and tired of it. Your older brother's tired of you moaning about nothing. Stop being ungrateful. But listen, those are my eight turn ons and turn offs. Let me know your thoughts in your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. Adios, amigo.